A nice thing about logarithms is that we can express logarithm to the base a by logarithm with any other base b as long as those bases are positive and different than 1. We have what we call change of the base formula that says that logarithm to the base a of m is equal logarithm to the base b of m divided by logarithm to the base b of a. Now, why do we have this formula? Again, we'll refer to the properties of the exponents. If x is logarithm to the base a of m, then we can write that a to the power x is equal m. If y is equal logarithm to the base b of a, then we can write that b to the power y is equal uh, a. So since a is b to the power y, we can take replace a in this expression by b to the power y. And what we'll have is b to the power y raised to the power x is equal m. Properties of the exponent allow me to write it as one exponent, so this is b to the power xy is equal m. And now changing this to the exponential form will give me xy is equal logarithm to the base b of m. But x was logarithm to the base a of m, and y was logarithm to the base b of a. So now to get the formula, we just need to divide this equality by logarithm to the base b of a. So if we have this formula, we can choose the value of b arbitrarily, or we can choose the values of b, for example, equal 10, which will give me the formula on the left, or we can choose the base e, which will give me formula on the right. The f those last formulas are used to evaluate the values of logarithms using calculator. Calculators usually have the keys only ln or log, and they stands for logarithm uh, with the base 10 or logarithm with the base e. So these formulas are used to evaluate logarithms with any other bases. So first, in example, I want to evaluate uh, or rewrite the logarithm to the base 5 of 7 using logarithm to the base 13. So according to the formula, that is the ratio. Logarithm to the base 13 and the number 7 goes on the top. And we divide this by logarithm to the base 13 and the number 5 goes on the bottom. In the second example, we are to approximate the logarithm to the base 5 of 7. To do that, we'll use one of the logarithms that allow us to use the calculator. So, for example, I will use ln of 7 over ln of 5. We can perform that operation on the calculator uh, simultaneously without computing ln of 7 and ln of 5. And what we'll get is 1.2090619 and so on. Since we want to approximate it to four decimal places, we'll look at the first um, four digits uh, decimals and we'll see that to approximate it to four decimal places, since the fifth digit is six, we need to put one uh, at the end, and this gives us desired approximation.